So the university are offering up to 11 refugee scholarships, which will include foundation degrees, master's programmes with the Henley Business School, as well as undergraduate degrees of the refugee's choice. I think Reading University should offer these scholarships because, like everyone else, refugees have a right to education, but unlike everyone else, they've been deprived of that right because they've had to flee their country from war and persecution. So it's really important for an institution that is as global as Reading to be offering that to those who have been deprived of the right of education. So this was a really long working progress that began in Nina Hager's year, who was the welfare officer who started this, and then it was continued by Seb Joshi, who was my predecessor, and then I took the paper forward to Robert van der Nork, who is the Pro Vice Chancellor for Academic Planning and Resource at the University, and I helped sort of campaign and lobby for the need of these scholarships and why the university should pro provide them. So we have our open day with them on June 16th and 50 refugees from the Reading Refugee Support Group in town will be joining us and we'll be welcoming them with lunch as well as mock lectures of what it's like to be at University at Reading and information on how they can apply. So hopefully the 11 of those that are successful will feel welcome by knowing us after the open day and seeing friendly faces. We've also got the six welfare officers that will be sitting under Paddy Woodman, Director of Student Services, and one of them will be responsible for oversight of refugees and supporting them throughout their studies with us. At the Union, we're also going to provide them with a network that will sit under the International Student Part-Time Officer and the Diversity Officer. So they'll be supported through that and they'll have a peer support system within the Union and they can speak to the Diversity Officer at any time. Definitely, I think with anything as big as this, there'll be challenges, particularly with refugee scholarships, particularly there might be an issue of integration. A lot of the refugee scholarships that we're offering are to local refugees who will prefer living at home rather than living on campus, so they might face issues that commuter students face in terms of integrating on campus and getting involved on campus. Um, so we'll definitely try and mitigate those challenges by providing them with events throughout the day as well as early evening events that they can join in on before going home. So actually Reading's done really well in comparison to the institutions that it kind of tends to benchmark itself against, particularly those in the area. Um, and we are providing sort of the double figures in terms of 11 scholarships and we're not just kind of guiding them to loan systems and how can they can get undergraduate degrees through the loan systems. We're going an extra step and providing them with actual bursaries to help them in their living and to pursue their studies um, and to support them throughout those three years. I just want to say that this is such a big win, um, particularly for the university but also for the student union and it goes to show that with collective efforts the things that we can achieve are limitless.